Dude, you're heading back to the mine, ain't you? Here, take this. Nothing much, I know. But I made it specially for you, in case you get peckish. Shrooms on a stick. Shrooms on a stick! Oh, I'm so hungry. Oi, dude! What did she just give you, eh? Where's mine? It ain't fair! Huh? You ain't gonna share it with me? You're better off hot footed after Dougie before I give you a piece of my mind! Oh, one more thing. If you spot Dougie gopping at a wall, he's probably trying to figure out a way through it. Make sure you help him with that, eh? These are the sharpest tool. Food. Glorious. Oh, that's filling. Okay, can I make a fire? Or am I incapable of burning things yet? Nope, I can't make a bonfire. I need oil. Okay, because, yeah, we do actually have food that I can cook. I just lack the uh, ooze for it. I really like this sword. It's going to be hard for me to switch it out. The insta-kill on it is nice. And now, if I could actually add that insta-kill feature to, like, other weapons... Oh, I would. Well, I'm not doing anything useful here. There we go. That is helpful. Okay, so keep an eye out for things that look like long grasses around here. Because, yeah, we want to grab a whole bunch of things. If we can. Yeah, having actual metal short swords should be an upgrade. Yeah, probably. We'll have to see how the DPS output changes. Because the one thing is, like, a metal sword might make me do more flat damage, but the insta-kill percent chance... Let's see, insta-kill for mooks and something else for bosses. Except for, like, half of the mid-bosses are absolutely insta-killable. Which is really fun. Kind of overpowered, but... I don't know. Yeah, I figure if we just stock up on a bunch of slime and meat... That'll work out for me in the long run. Plus, we can look around for a bit, because I actually haven't seen this area <clears throat> that well. Look at these things. Ooh, garlic? Gladiola seeds. And there's, there's some grass. Oh, these. Yeah, we'll have to look into farming fairly soon. Because that'll probably make a difference. <clears throat> yeah, I like this chapter. It's gonna be a little bit rough on my my uh, vocal cords, but I do really enjoy voice acting as as the uh, uh, Digby, Dugby, uh, Digby, Duggy, and all of the associated other characters. It's fun. And it's one of those where, like, my voice really hasn't, like, had much of a workout lately, so I don't mind it too much. I just might sound a bit, uh, you know, scratchy here and there. Okay, so we've got eight slime. We'll want to get more. Yeah, I see at least a builder challenge here, so we might as well do that real quick. Uh, really? This is almost insulting. Or, or not? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, so red is right next to pink. Er... Pink? It goes pink, blue, black. So red would actually be on top here. Uh, let's see. I can put a couple of th these things away, at least for now. 
Let's see, can I, can I pocket these? Oh, that'll make this easier. Okay. So, red goes here. Well, do you know if it matters? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Green. Okay. So if that's black, or is that blue? I hope that's black. Blue's brighter anyway. Okay, so if black is there... This would be green right here. Dang it! There we go. Okay, didn't care about rotation. Okay. Any metal. Doesn't look like we got anything else. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, there's hammer hoods up there, though. We should go say hi to them. Chances are they're violent, but still. And seeing as we've got unlimited ladders, heck yeah. Because, yeah, if I can just put an unlimited number of these down, then ladders just everywhere for days. No, hammer hoods, yep. Hammer hoods are enemies in this one. They don't seem terribly violent or aggressive. But I'll take what I can get. Now, do I learn anything cool? I do. Probably some kind of metal weapon, right? Or armor? Copper sword. Ooh, plus 40 attack, though. That might actually be worth it. Okay. Hello. Well, eat some of these diggers, diggers. They're not great, and I can't grow more of them. But I don't need that much food right yet. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so let's look around a little bit. We got more hammer hoods here. We've also got an incredibly creepy looking tower. Uh, maybe it's not that creepy looking. It's still pretty creepy looking. Huh. It's got mine tracks on it. Uh Hold the frond? This is a builder's challenge? What? I don't even know where to begin. I mean, cleaning it seems like a decent idea. My assumption is we gotta figure out how to get the mine track all the way down, maybe?
because I don't see a solution that would even make sense with the rest of this. I do wish it would actually, like, give you some text being like, by the way, build the, do the, the, do the this thing, but I guess you're supposed to figure it out. Well, seeing as I can't make this stuff anyway. I mean, I've got a bunch over here that I could potentially nab. Be way too long to figure out what I was doing wrong. I'm not even sure how I'd go about figuring that out. We got minecarts. What? Listen here, lads. The light's fading fast, so we better get cracking with today's accumulation declaration. Well, I might want to just put that one off for a little while. Around, lads, time to kick off today's declaration. Looks like we bagged a bumper haul. First up is Dude Share, and he won't be disappointed. Here goes five lumps of coal and two chunks of copper. That's all. There's your share, Goldie Rex. 20 lumps of copper. Thank you. Me need 980 more lumps of copper. Then me become copper golem. All right. That's your lot. You boys deserve a digger's jigger or two tonight. Just make sure you, you're up bright and early for the more uh, for more mining in the morning. Got my phone here. Probably to double check a thing or two. Oops. Uh, let's see. Anything to declare? Another hard day of mining. Uh, let's see. Trade up between you and Goldie Rocks. That's kind of fun. Oh, we did actually end up breaking all this stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna save that for now. So perfect, I didn't have to worry about that. I just have to keep an eye on the clock today because technically we're supposed to be playing Witchet tonight. And I don't wanna I don't wanna like screw up and have people uh, show up late or early or anything like that. I want to make sure people can come. Okay, so now I've got that going. Let's break some more of this stuff. Let's see. I'm more the more the mine you clear, the more they'll pick up. Oh yeah, the more I've cleared, and also probably the uh, uh, let's see, the more the more I've cleared, and the more people that I've picked up in like the higher level of the town, probably, and a couple of things. Uh, let's see. There we go. I I haven't organized a group multiplayer thing in actually months. Like I've done a little bit. Uh, I, I've done a little bit with uh, with Moose and Joe, but I've never done like a mass multiplayer organization thing in quite a while. This definitely looks like it's supposed to uh, loop into the other one. 
Okay, so how, how does this work? Blocks chain. Blocks and other objects have a chain symbol next to them. will change their appearance automatically. Hey, that's cool. Oh, that's really nice, actually. I like that. Well, it seems to be agreeing with my placement of this. Wait, is that it? That was it? What? That was the puzzle? Or is it like a double, uh, a, is that a two-parter? I am actually kind of confused. Can I bust up the sand? I can't. For no good reason. Well, I guess I've done it. Let me know if there's more to that, but... I guess not. It certainly looks like it's supposed to connect to the other one. I don't know. I'm like second guessing myself really hard because it feels like I shouldn't have been able to like complete it that fast. Where the minecarts go? Oh, there they are. I literally have them in hand. I'm repelled by a strange, strange force. I am just going to operate under the assumption that I succeeded handily, and that's just it. It's a ramp. Was there a minecart up there? Let's see. That's not gonna work. Huh. I... Oh, my cart! <laughs> I I guess that's it. That's real weird. Okay. Well, life is going well. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I don't know. I just... I, I'm full of uncertainty and apprehension today. Because, yeah, like I was saying, I'm, I'm organizing a mass multiplayer thing in a couple hours. Uh... Ping me before seven, uh, seven Pacific. Uh, let's see. So do I just get this stuff? Perfect. Yeah, so eventually it'll get me more, probably. Now, did they actually build anything up there? They didn't. So these people will not fill out blueprints yet. I guess I'll just have to do it on my own. Okay, so most of the walls are... Oh, we need another one. Uh... Okay, I guess we do actually have enough beds. I might as well just sleep here and we'll go from there. But yeah, the last time I really did like major mass multiplayer stuff was back when Catadere was still around. And so, like, I'm feeling a little rusty, and this is, like, with an entirely new new group of people. So, well, I mean, newish. You guys have probably seen them around, and in a couple of things, I've definitely done stuff with them before. But I haven't organized it. I'm certainly, like, <clears throat> I'm, I'm always going to be mildly, perpetually, not overwhelmingly, like, worried about stuff. But, you know, just, like, I want everything to go smoothly, and nobody to be like, meh. Because people always go, meh, just mildly. It was the ma massive multiplayer thing. I mean, when I say massive multiplayer, I mean like eight people, I think. I haven't exactly counted. Shell, myself, Anna, Colty, and all of Stump. So yeah, eight people, I guess. Unless more people show up, at which point I don't know, I'll figure it out. Uh, originally, we we're going to be joined by our, our buddy Josh, uh, who goes by Wall Stor Stormer and or Intelligame, but he is uh, he he doesn't want to stream on um he doesn't want to stream today 
for very good reason, actually. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, today is Prime Day, which is actually kind of a dodgy thing for me. Um, Witcher doesn't have multiplayer. Which it, not Witcher. Similar, but different. Actually, not at all similar. Oh, there's a freaking campfire right here. I could have just been cooking things here the entire time. Wait, does that mean I can keep cooking recipes for this stuff too? Oh, that's new. But yeah, it's, it's Witch It multiplayer. And uh, it, it's like Brawl Punt. Fruit Flambe. Oh, that's much better. All right, let's, uh, let's see. I do have mushrooms, but let's grab the meat. I might want to just make some, like, basic cooking-related areas at some point, maybe. I don't know, we'll, see how, we'll have to see how this goes. Can I... I could do that real quick. Just make, like, a tiny kitchen over here. that might not be a bad idea just just to give myself some food leeway so I don't have to cook these things I was just seared steak filming 30% and attack power bonus well that's pretty dang good all right uh, let's see switch the gloves now if we just check the builderpedia for rooms I might not be able to make it though that's the one fear simple kitchen Chest and three bonfires. Oh, well, that's... That's laughably easy. Let's just make, a uh, Several of these. Gonna have to get more oil at some point. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I mean, honestly, I can make, like, an infinite amount of chests. And it'll never stop. But, yeah... We want to just make the most basic uh, kitchen. I'll just put it here for now. Let's see. What else do we not? We don't need that. We kind of need the vine apples. Let's see. We don't need the cotton on hand. And I'm not going to bother with building the bar yet, because we are woefully out of materials. Okay. And then at some point I'll come back and fix this place up. And hopefully, hopefully this way I can store some of that bunnet meat, and they'll actually, uh... <clears throat> oh, hey! Towel rack. Yeah! Uh, let's see. Actually, I think we need another one of those. There we go. How much in the game are you against the uploaded videos on YouTube? Um, God, it's like a 20, 30 episode difference. Maybe, maybe more. It's bad. Like, normally I'm on top of things. Uh, and like, keeping them relatively close together. But this is one of those series that will be perpetually very far ahead of, uh, very, very far ahead of YouTube. See, I'm ever going to go back to Judgment. I would like to, yes. Uh, God. I just need an evening where I'm not just playing this. But the problem is, like I said, I got Witch It later. Uh, and then I've also got, like, a new game to play with Shell. I've got a tiny toilet. How y'all can poop. Why are there a bunch of hearts up here? Uh, but yeah, so that that's a game that I want to go back to. It's just one of those where it's like 30 hours long. Uh, or more. Which, like, I can justify with a game like this. Because it's fun. Let's see. And because it does really, really well on Twitch. And YouTube. Judgment is a little bit more of a me fun, uh, like me just having fun thing. Which works well until my schedule gets busy, and then I'm like, uh, gotta sacrifice fun for job. Okay. Anyway, so we're actually going to join these guys down in here. 
this time around. And might want to actually make a proper minecart setup. Would certainly make it easier to get in. Hopefully, just following him this time around is good enough. At least for starters. Okay, core blimey, not monsters. Are you are you actually fighting us? I should probably actually make that copper sword. Is that it? Are we good? Wait, there's more miners in here than there were last time. They're multiplying. Oh shoot, they're breeding. I wonder if I can grow mushrooms in this. Probably not. That's probably why they're so freaking plentiful. Okay. Good lord, there's a lot of these guys. Oh, and because I just busted that up, works perfectly. <clears throat> hey, what's the crate doing on the rail tracks? What? That old thing? Ah, there's a minecart. Use them to ride along the rails. Looks like we reached one of the old loading stations. We can bend the tracks and connect to this station to the base. We can have a convenient little transport route. Oh, I dude, I got a job for you. You saw the track running from the tunnel, right? Uh, looks like this is the last stop in the line. If we fixed up the track, it'd make hauling our diggings back a whole lot easier. You don't expect us to carry it all home in our buckets, do you? You can lay a piece of track wherever this section's missing, and the minecarts will grind to a halt. Let's see. If you need any more bits of railway to finish the repairs, there should be plenty of unused track lying about the place. There's just nothing there. <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing some on the way over. Might be a good idea to pick up all the track we need on our way back to the base. Out of the goodness of my heart, I'll give you the track you need. It's kind of far back to the base, though. Tell you what, just do up to that first stop sign for now. Think you can handle it? Just go back the way you came, keeping a mince pie not for breaks in the track. Use that minecart if you like. If you ever want to have a about the finer details of lying good minecart track, just give us a shout, yeah? Okay, so we have a lot of mine mine track. Perfect. Yeah, I never whoops. Oh. No, 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 no. I shouldn't do this. Yeah, I never bothered with the mine tracks in the previous, uh, in the previous game, because they never really seemed worth it. Here, though, absolutely worth it. And the game actually is, like, designed to make it work. And worth it. Which, I, I don't know, I seriously appreciate. It really does seem like they, they figured themselves out a lot here. There we go. Now that's connected. I'm just gonna ride this until it pops and then we fix it. Okay, might as well fix this up over here. Plenty of free stone. Whoops. And it sends Melroth on a bit of a fit, which is amusing. Okay. I guess those were functional. Well, that's okay. We. Nope. Get, get out of here. Go, go, go away. I wish to ride my minecart in peace. Well, dude, that's the loading station connected to the first stop sign on the route. In case you ain't noticed, you can make a station by placing a stop sign next to the piece of track. Every time a minecart passes the station, it'll stop. Pretty convenient, don't you think? I got the basics down, so time to use that track to connect the line all the way back to the base. And don't worry if you run out of track. Just grab some more from one of the old lines and we ain't using it no more. 
Please don't follow me. Oh, he is going to follow me. There we go. Ah. That shouldn't be there. Ah, dang, snap it. Uh, I like the NPCs. I love Balroth. He's such a good addition to this game. At the same time, I do wish they gave me a little bit of breathing room sometimes when I'm building. Namely, right now. Most of the time, it doesn't bother me that much. But right now, it's just like, eh. Less with you. No. No. Eh. Eh. Okay, and I can I can just float rail track in the air. Somehow, doesn't even make sense. But still, also somebody was saying that the uh, muscle miners reproduce asexually. No, I'm pretty sure it's sexual. I'm just not sure if it's uh, it's particularly well well um, well I don't know. It's horrifying. It's probably more like an eldritch ritual and involves a lot of like smoothie drinking and flexing. Both of which would be kind of weird. I mean, like, I can kind of imagine it, but I really don't want to. That was the only girl in town. I don't know. Dougie, Dougie has a certain effeminate air. You never know. Okay, is it all good? I guess I might as well start fixing up some of the rest of this, too. Also, trains! Nice one, dude! Our lives will be a whole lot easier now that we can cart, uh, cart it back to the loading station and back. My cart will run wherever there's a stretch of track. Ride the rails ain't half the fun. Uh, ain't half fun. And it's quicker than walking, too. What? Ain't half fun? Weird. Well then, how's about you and you, me, and Malroth take the main voyage on our fancy new minecart track? Hold on, there's three of us, but only one minecart cart. You don't expect us to all cram in there together, do you? How do you get your knickers in a twist, Malroth? If dude makes a wooden minecart for each of us and whacks them side by side on the track, we can all ride together. What do you say, dude? If you wrestle up a few more carts, we can all head back down into the mine in style. Ain't that the only thing? I want to have a uh, at the work at, at what's on the other side of that bridge. Whoo, boy! Dialogue here is difficult. Yay! Okay, so I can now make one of those and track. Reflex the time is their sexy time. Oh, absolutely! I mean, it's nothing but pheromones and like. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like, uh, how plants breed, where it's just like, uh... Oh, can I, can I make more of this? Can't make much. You know, they're putting out pollen, except for it's just sweat and gross. Okay, can I make minecarts? The answer is yes. Oh, they're just made out of wood. Well, that's mad easy. Aha! More! Let's see, from what do you remember of Dragon Quest lore, the muscle guys breed with bunny girls. Yep. I mean, they're all- they're always in the same general area. It's a little weird. I like that weird. Because the muscle guys are always just a little bit disconcerting. Hi. Oh, yep, damn it. Turn, you yutz! There's my carts. One, two, three. Ride. Never mind. 
Listen here, lads. Light's fading fast. We better get cracking with today's accumulation declaration. Gather around, lads. It's time to kick off today's declaration. It looks like we've bagged a bumper all. For substitute share, and you won't be disappointed. Here goes. Five lumps of coal and five chunks of copper. That's all. Here's your share, Goldie Rex. Fifty lumps of copper. Thank you. Me need 930 more lumps of copper. Then me become copper golem. All right, that's your lot. You boys deserve a digger's jigger too tonight. Just make sure you're bright, up bright and early for more mining in the morning. Okay. So, we might as well make some glass. I don't think I'm going to be able to make too much with this. Well, no, I can make a shit ton of glass. What am I saying? Okay, so now that that is going for... That's going to take a while. We might want to make another one of these. Ideally, eventually we'll get more. Uh, let's see. So I have one of those. Just sitting around. I can make a couple of these. We might as well make a bunch. We're gonna have to go kill some more orange slimes. Okay, luckily we've got a whole bunch of stones sitting around. We might also wanna light up the town so I don't get ganked. Cause that'd be bad. You know, we might actually need another one of those. Well, that's fine. So we need... Oh, Digger's Jigger to make those. Uh-oh. And a lot of glass for that. Did they cook up all of my... Okay, they've cooked up quite a lot of it. Uh, let's see. Let's put the mushrooms away. Smoothies. So we need the vine apples if I want to make diggers jiggers. Uh, let's see. just a blank spot there. Okay. Well, let's fill in the back wall at least. I'll just put this outside for the time being. Because the back wall is mad easy to work on. Unfortunately, I think we're going to need iron blocks if we want to complete this thing. We straight up don't have those. Let's see barrels. I have a buttload of barrels. Let's see. And the sack went right there. Let's see. Oh no, we only need. Yeah, no, we do need two lamps. And we need two of these sconces out here. What's the other thing out front? Oh, signs. more complicated than most of the other blueprints I've worked with so far. Not too much, it's just, it's a little hard to read, I guess, is the easy answer. I might be able to cannibalize some of the, uh, the iron blocks from around town now that I'm looking at it. I might want to start with that. Because, yeah, we actually do have quite a number of these iron blocks just sitting around. And we'll just move the smithy later. Which is fine, because what I should also do is figure out exactly where the town boundaries are. 